So Ian, Pat, after after um, after too many games, I reported about the f- the fer- feverish, feverish, uh, new wave of collectors coming from the coin and and uh, comic market that yeah. are coming in because of WADA and Heritage Auctions and now Certified Link, where there are people that are now pumping money, lots of money, into getting sealed. Uh, NES Super Nintendo games, but they're also going for black box sticker seal original games. Right. So the sticker seals, if you didn't know, uh, for the first year or so before they did the, the you know cellophane seal, uh, they had sticker seals uh, on these games, and they had a couple of different versions uh, of sticker seals. Even when it comes to they have like uh, shinier sticker seals versus non shiny. I won't get into the differences. It's not as important. But what is important, Ian, is that. A graded original Super Mario Brothers sticker sealed game just went for twenty two thousand dollars on auction. That usually does not include the the take of the auctioneer house, which is whatever between uh, ten to fifteen percent. It could be. Keep in mind, Ian. Remember the hundred thousand dollar sticker sealed Super Mario Brothers? Yeah, that was actually sealed, sealed and unopened. This is open. This has been opened, closed, and is graded at a six point oh. Which is uh, about what I would grade it if you can have a comic scale on here. The sticker's still on it, but it's obviously opened and damaged. So $22,000 for a test market Super Mario Brothers. Now, these aren't common, these original Super Mario Brothers. Right. They never were that common. But the question now is that, does this justify a $22,000 cost? To this person, it does. But long term, will this sort of market sort of dig in their heels and and sort of uh, exist and not just for a game like this but for a sticker sealed gyromite which i own probably two or three of and sticker sealed uh, duck hunt which i own at least one of uh, original test market games and for the rest like clue clue land and those will there be enough buyers to sustain this or does it even matter is there enough just to pump it up and, and hopefully it stays there for these high-end collectors i don't know we'll have to see i i know nothing really about this world i just know well because it's separate from the video game world it's quickly becoming separate the collector world yeah it's separate um collector world is you know something that is comprised of all sorts of things and that's definitely its own thing comics collect you know it's that's a there's are are there conventions just for collectors collectors cons i mean or maybe there will be in the future (laughs) um but i don't know i I don't know how to read into this. Well, they're, or how well, well, they're trying to create a golden age I get video that. game market. I get that. Yeah. I'm just wondering uh, if it's going to happen because it seems like doing so, there's a big chance for collapse and failure, like almost immediately. Well, yeah, because because this is what I always said. 50 years from now, you're going to have to have people buying in to say that, well, the test market, uh, 85, early 86 version, that's the true version. And Pat's, you know, 1987 uh, version over there. That, that, that you can buy anywhere for $30 or $50, that's garbage. That's not what we want. And and you have to have people buy in to agree with that. That the first edition of materially the same item, the same video game, you know, that's what, what the market will only want in the future. That's what they're trying to establish. But there's not many games you can do that with. Right. There's, there just isn't. No that are, are rare enough that people are going to care for that variant and are historically significant. Are people going to care uh, between the, the the original Castlevania versus the re-release one that I probably have the Red A one that says on the bottom right? I don't know. Will there be enough people that care about that? Or they just want a Super Mario Brothers in the box, of which there's tons of out there. Right. Or Super Mario 3, or any, any of those sort of games. Will it matter to them? This is one of the few games where you can probably make the case for because it's Super Mario Bros. But can you do the same for for uh, Legend of Zelda? Can you do the same for for uh, you know like I don't know? Give me give me a big nineties. I think I think, Zelda, I think Zelda is one that you could do it for. You probably could. I, I think Nintendo. That's not going to be as as uncommon as this though. I think Nintendo properties. Sealed are things that you could maybe do this for. Black box games, Nintendo properties. All black box or uh, the very few? Oh, I think collectors could... They can make the, they they can can make make the case. Market. Well, oh, Wild yeah. Gunman, the first 
sticker seal version of. I, I think they can make a case for getting Legend. the black box ones and, like I said, Nintendo properties, but we're already kind of getting past that point, at least in, with video game collectors, where they care about the rare games that aren't good. Basically, we're getting to the point where no one is coming in and buying up weird titles because they have a collection to complete. They're back to kind of buying the, the standard songbook. Sure. Um, I don't know that this is going to be able to branch out into the weirder games. I think it's going to have to keep itself focused on, like I said, the well, properties that, that, that exist that, and subsist. Right. Per persist, not subsist. Subsist means they're eating. <laughs> they yeah. persist. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, I, when you look at some of the other, uh, you have to like log in, I think, to see the other um, closed auctions. I, I I think I logged, I think I, I created an account here. Let me see if I can log in here and get in here and, and just run through a couple of, of the others. Okay, it's, it's interesting. Let's see, auctions, uh, home. How do I see the rest of these? I just, wanna, I just wanna run through a couple real quick. Certified video games. Uh, okay, so for example, you have like graded eight eyes went for $600. Uh, Alien Syndrome went for only 130 So that's barely probably the cost of what it would be sealed. And then remember, it's like $50 to grade these. So right. uh, Back to the Future, $750. Barbie, $845. Um, then you have some complete bottles. It's the Carolina collection. That sounds like Dane's stuff. They're trying to name it like they did with com They're trying to get get the co comic confusion. Like, remember, like the Mountain High collection. And they found some old guy's collection from, from you know 80 years ago. They name them. So... It's interesting when you run through some of these, they vary widely. Like, oh, Beetlejuice, uh, complete in box 180. But here's a sealed uh, Blaster Master for 440. So they're trying to establish that any of these can be worth a lot of money. I think long term, it's only going to be a few. Yes, that's what I would agree with. Yes. Like, here's a Bomberman sealed. Like for, comics. Here's a Bomberman sealed for 1,000. Are people going to be clamoring for that original Bomberman on the NES? Bomberman's a, a fairly popular series, but are people really going to go back and say, well, that's the important Bomberman that started it all? Mm. Or 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 they want a Cobra Command or a Color of Dinosaur, complete in box. Only oh, went for three fifty, dollars uh, complete in box. Not sealed. It's interesting that it seems like they these guys only really want the sealed ones. Great. Yeah. Like they don't, because a, a Color of Dinosaur for three fifty would be a decent deal, not graded. Yeah. It's interesting how it's playing out early on. That's all I'm going to say. But if you think people are gonna want a, a dark man sealed twenty five years from now for, for for a few thousand dollars, I'm gonna I'm just gonna make the bet that they won't they won't. Yeah. That that investment may not come back. And that's what a lot of these things are. These are investments. These are not necessarily collectors that want these. There could be some of them, but this is the the, the the mindset of I'm making my money back on these long term, I believe. 